Welcome to the channel of Coach Enrique. The biggest difference between professional players and amateur players is timing. Timing is the key to consistency and proper stroke. Almost every amateur player wants to make a fast forehand top spin or smash, but the speed of the shot often has more to do with the proper technique than physical strength. They want the shot faster but don't know the correct timing. The best way to present the element of speed is to discuss about timing. A stroke that is too early is no better than one that is too late. As a coach, I see many new players is overheating and accelerating too soon on their looping stroke. To hit the ball at full power, you must be in the perfect position and perfect timing to make a strong shot. If you look, if your loops are too are not consistent, slow down and learn the right timing. You might be surprised to find that when you slow down your strong shots, loop cue smash start landing much more often. I have explained to you the tip number three, fix the position of the ball in my previous video. Christian asked me, I don't understand what you mean when you say you must fix the ball, point three of this video. Please, could you explain me? What is fix the ball? And I have answer. Many amateurs playing player hit the ball too soon. Some hit too late. It is the question of timing. Fix the position of the ball before hitting means always hit the ball at the same moment on its trajectory. For example, always hit the ball when the ball stops on its highest bounce. Timing is extremely important in table tennis. Slowing down is more helpful than rushing. More stroke should be controlled until the point of contact with the ball, at which time you should accelerate into the ball a half a second before the contact point. I will show you the optimal timing for each type of stroke. The research of Busmer et al. about timing and attacking forehand drive in table tennis of male top players show some interesting results. The subject, five male right-handed top player, Dutch national league top player, were considered. The task, so these five top players were required to return the table tennis ball as fast and as accurately as possible onto a cir circular target, 55cm. The other shows that this could demand a high spatial accuracy at contact, that is making a contact with the ball at exactly the pre-planned position. So making the contact at exactly the pre-planned position that is the principle of my tips, fix the position of the ball before hitting. Because the direction of travel of the bat is changing rapidly in the neighborhood of contact, so the timing accuracy can be obtained in the table 2. Look at the table 2, you can see that the timing of the top players is very very precise, the precision is very high less than 5 milliseconds for these 5 players, so that means 1 over 200th of a second, very very precise. On the other hand, it should be realized that the consistency is of course a matter, a matter of degree, so it was demonstrated that this accuracy is was as precise as 5 milliseconds, so the timing is very important for the consistency of the stroke. The optimal timing for each type of stroke. Backhand flip. You don't have much time for this shot because you must hit when the ball is still on the table and you can miss the ball, so you should flip the ball at its highest position. At this position, the ball stops traveling. The chance that you miss the ball therefore decreases.
backhand push. You should push the ball early near its highest point. If you push too late, the ball can jump high up and is easy to be attacked. If you don't want to miss the ball, you can push very hard at its highest position. To chop. You should chop the ball late at the position around your hips. If you chop too soon, the ball is still high and it is difficult to chop downward correctly and your ball is not spinning and can be very high. So wait and chop at low position. Forehand loop. To loop top spin ball, you should loop and counter loop the top spin ball after the highest position. Normally, the ball is coming with a lot of speed and spin. This position gives you more time and the speed and spin are reduced. If you want to loop the back spin ball, hit at its highest position. It is the safest position to avoid the ball goes to the net due to its back spin. Backhand loop. To loop the top spin ball, you should hit just after the highest position when the ball starts to falling down. Because of the nature of the backhand stroke, you must lift the ball, make the ball go upward and forward. So wait for a little hit by spinning the ball upward. Backhand counter loop or backhand block. For this stroke, you need to close your racket to counter the top spin ball, so hit the ball before the highest position. Don't hit too late. You can't close your racket when the ball has rocked down. Hit earlier. You can also borrow the opponent's fox. You can separate the five position of hitting on the trajectory of the ball from one to five. The position 3 is the highest position. I have summarized the optimal timing for several types of stroke in table tennis in this table. So please remember, you have more time than you think, but you may still not have enough time. Tip number 18 of Lenism. Learn the optimal timing, fix the position of the ball. See you next Sunday. Let me know which is your best timing stroke by commenting below and with it.